Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Scents of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video. This is gonna be one of those fragrance adjacent videos. And today I'm going to be talking about a popular new men's grooming brand, specifically their deodorants, and that's Dr. Squatch. So, you know, I'll break down my experience with their deodorant, talk about the brand a little bit, and then give it my thoughts and overall ratings. So before we jump into that, if it's your first time here to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the type of content that I create. Check out my Instagram page for photos of fragrances for my collection, news and updates on the channel. Um, also, if you're interested in buying any fragrances directly from my collection, Go to my Mercari page, the link is below. Again, it's all authentic stuff directly from my collection, things I'm not wearing anymore, and again, I'd rather other people enjoy it. And of course, you guys, I also am now promoting some clothing brands, things that I buy that I've reached out to these brands about because I wanna share them with everybody. Um, one of them is, as what I've been mentioning, uh, it's Masudo. If you like the button-down shirts that I wear with the patterns or solid and the flip cuffs, it's a 40% discount, and the link is in the description. And my latest one that I really like is called Aurelius Apparel. It's kind of hard to see here. And I found out about this one probably because of the algorithm on my Instagram and me liking all the different history things. You guys know I love everything ancient Rome. And my nephew is a bodybuilder. He's 18. He's going to have his first show soon. So I bought him one of these because this is a fitness slash stoicism type of brand. Pretty cool. And um, I bought him a shirt. He loved it. I reached out to them and said, hey, you know, if I bought these shirts, would you create me an affiliate link? And I bought another one for myself and I'm wearing it now. They're really soft cotton. And if you're into fitness, these are a great workout shirt as well too. And it's pretty cool if you're into history and things of the sort too. So the link for that is in the description. Discount is, uh, code is SOSJ. You'll see the link, you click on it and the code is underneath it. I think it gives you about 10% discount. So um, anyway, let's take a look at Dr. Squatch and see if the hype is real. Okay, so, you know, like we do, usually we'll do a presentation. I, I have a couple different ones here. These are ones that I've used and ones that I've finished here. So they have a couple different scents. I'm sure they have more than this. You know, they have uh, pine tar, and this is fresh falls, and it's a twist. Cap comes off like that. Um, and you can see here, I don't know, guys, there's no box. And I've never done a deodorant review before, so I'm just kind of winging it, so just bear with me. So they have the ingredients here, but they have this whole thing about natural odor squatching system. And I'm going to, you know, describe to you what I think it, it how it, how it is when you, when you put it on versus how it actually works versus things that I like to use. So um, now that you've seen it, you can see what it kind of looks like. It's sort of like a paste there. Um, let's talk about the differences between this and the deodorants that I wear. Okay, first things first, the differences between Dr. Squatch deodorant and the deodorants that I typically wear. I typically wear one that I love. It's a Dracar Noir and it is a solid stick. There is no aluminum or any perspirant in these and that's the same with Dr. Squatch. This is a full one. This is the most recent one I got so I could wear it again to make this video. This is not a glide on though. This is more of a paste, a creamy application, but there is no aluminum and it is not an antiperspirant. Antiperspirant or aluminum uh, that gives me an irritation. Much like I've mentioned, al um, deodorants with alcohol content do give me an irritation. So Dr. Squatch does live up to that. It is a non-aluminum, aluminum free, I should say, deodorant. Um, application is the same. The way it operates is the same. It's a twist. So is this one. Um, this is another one that I wear. It's called Bravo Sierra. And actually, what I like about this one too is all the proceeds. They give it a decent amount, I think 5% to military veterans. And that is also a, um, a stick that is glide on. You, you twist up for the application, but it is not a paste. So what's it look like when you apply Dr. Squatch deodorant versus the other one too? So I'll put some of this on my wrist. Now, it may be hard to see, but you see how it's like really, really pasty. Like I can take that off and it's on that finger there too. Really pasty, really clunky, as opposed to something like this, which aside from maybe some shine, you can't see. Um, same thing with the Bravo Sierra one too. I'll put that on this hand here. So, you know, aside from a shine, you can't see, it doesn't leave any residue where this does. And another thing that it does is it gunks up all around here, making it harder to close and it becomes wasteful. Now, if you have hair under your armpits, um, like I do, you know, it really clings to that. And this, the smoother deodorants don't do that where this one does. So this one is a little bit of a messier application that leaves that residue. Look at all that. See that? Look at all that gunk right there. This is a finished one compared to something like this. Nothing, maybe a little bit of shine, but no gunk. 
As far as the performance goes in terms of does this keep you from sweating, does it keep you from having any sort of BO, um, to be fair, it does work in that regard. I don't have any sort of complaints in that department as I, I don't I don't with my Dracar Noir deodorant or the Sierra Bravo. Both of these work and so does Dr. Squatch. So it does, I would say, live up to its expectation in that regard, to be fair. All right, so let's talk about the scent for Dr. Squatch's Pine Tar. This is the one that I gravitated towards initially because you guys know I love green fragrances, green scents. And this one smells like a paste. There's very little pine or greenness in it. It smells like a paste, almost like a, um, what's that, like paper mache, like when it dries, like that's what it smells like. It doesn't have a good scent to it. Granted, it does work in terms of reducing any scent on, uh, you know, BO-wise, but it doesn't smell nice. Now, the other one here, this is a much stronger one that's called Fresh Falls. So this one has a much stronger scent, but I, uh, as far as this one, the pine tar does not smell very nice, really smells like a synthetic paper mache type of pasty, weird gunk. It doesn't smell like a, a, a clean deodorant, as opposed to say the Jacar Noir, which smells like Jacar Noir, which is one of the greatest fougeres ever. And this one from Bravo Sierra, and this one smells exactly like it is citrus and cedarwood. It's a very pleasant smell, good deodorant smell. So as far as the pine tar goes, bad smell. Fresh Falls is a nice smell um, when it comes to the scents for the two deodorants I've tried from Dr. Squatch. All right, so when I think about the pros and the cons of this deodorant, Dr. Squatch, first of all, let's talk about the price point. I see these going for $14 to $18 a deodorant stick. That's an obscene price for a deodorant stick. You know, these are $5 at Walmart. And again, proceeds go, some of the proceeds go to, to military families, to veterans, to, to, to um, you know, people in need. That's a good cause. Dr. Squatch, they may do something like that. I don't know, but still, it's a lot of money for a freaking deodorant stick. These right here, you get them at Marshall's for, you know, it's a, it's a designer brand. It's Guy La Roche. It's, it's attached to um, a fragrance, whereas these are not. And it's less money than that. I think this one uh, was, you can see that there, $9.99. And even that's a lot, but I like Jacar Noir, and you guys know I am with the, with the Bodyline products too. So, um that's sort of a con, $15 for a deodorant stick at CVS, maybe even more other places online, on Amazon, I've seen them go for, for higher. Um, and there's another thing that I really don't like about this. Not only does it not smell that great, um, not only does it leave the gunk all over the tip and the, you know, the, the mechanism of the, of the cap here for the deodorant stick, is what it does to your clothes. So I have a shirt right here that I wore, where I wore Dr. Squatch. Now I'm gonna turn it inside out and show you the residue that it leaves. Look at that. Look at that. That's ridiculous. All from that. And it's all because it's a pasty material. Now, the, the pro is that it does reduce sweating and it doesn't, and you don't, you won't smell. It's a good deodorant in that function, which I think is the most important part. However, all that is achieved by other deodorants that I've worn. Another one I used to love was Trench Warfare by Duke Cannon. Great brand. They don't have that anymore. Or I don't find it anymore. All I find is the stupid antiperspirant one. But there are white stains up and down this shirt. You can see it all the way down there. But look at that. Now, I've worn it on the button downs that you see me wear, and it crusts up. And sometimes I don't take my button down to the dry cleaner right away. So that's a huge con. I hate that it does that. I think it's messy. I don't like the pastiness of it. It doesn't smell good. Now, it works. That's the best thing about it. But everything else about this sort of sucks. And the, the image that, that this gives off online, I don't know if you guys have seen it, Dr. Squatch has been around now for maybe you know two, three years. Heavy advertisements on Instagram sort of remind me of the old Axe body spray commercials. You know when you'd spray it on and all the girls would come? That was sort of funny. These are sort of funny like that. Like the girlfriend always says, oh, you know, he stunk. And if you use my bars of soap, which I've smelled, and they smell sort of cardboardy with a, a fragrance mixture in there. Um, if you use the deodorants, they now have a cologne it's gonna change your life, right? And obviously we know that that is not true. Um, it's just marketing. They do a good job with it. And, and they have the, um, especially if you're into fragrances, they're gonna pop up on your feed a lot too. So, but they charge a lot of money. And I think that this is a messy kind of residue leaving product and I'm unhappy with it in that regard. Plus the commercials are, are, are sort of corny. And I think that they knock shower gels a lot, which you guys know I like. So, you know, I don't know what they're, if they're trying to, you know, position themselves as an all natural, um, you know, you know, type of big time men's grooming 
brand, you know, and, and their fragrances are like 60 bucks. We know, I know, I can go out on a limb and tell you that they're not worth that type of money, but they have the, the marketing and, and, and behind it. And, and, you know, dozens of other companies have done that. But if you're going to look for a quality fragrance or a quality product, I would hate to have it be sort of messy like this. And I haven't tried the fragrances yet, so I can only speculate. But my opinion on the deodorant, aside from the fact that it does work, that's its saving grace, so I'll give it that, is that it's messy and it doesn't smell very nice. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. That's my impromptu fragrant adjacent review of Squatch deodorant, Dr. Squatch is sort of a quack, right? So let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of this product? Do you like it? I'm not even really gonna give it a rating because I'm just telling you what I what I don't like about it and what I do like about it. Um, you got mostly cons and, and there's, there's one pro. It's an important pro though. Again, I'm trying to be as fair as possible. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think of the brand? Do you have any of the deodorants? Have you tried the colognes? Am I being too harsh? I would love to hear from all of you. You know I always appreciate all the interaction. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the link to my Mercari page if you wanna get fragrances directly from my collection. Go get yourself a Marcus Aurelius t-shirt from Aurelius Apparel. The link is in the description along with a discount code. Check out the Masudo button downs. Um, thank you all for watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.